Good morning to all. Today we are going to discuss about another topic and that is about purifying water. So the water often contains impurities. So what does this impurities means? Impurities means something which is not pure. So water contains impurities. So we need to remove these impurities, right? So it contains germs and germs causes diseases. Even it contains dust particles. So we need to remove these impurities. So otherwise it causes diseases and it is not safe for drinking. So there are different methods for purifying water. So we need to remove all the impurities from the water and we need to purify water. So in this class, we are going to discuss about the different methods of purifying water. So the first method, the simplest as well as the best method for purifying water, that is boiling water. So as you boil water, the harmful bacteria are killed. So one of the ways, one of the method to purify water is by boiling water. It removes the germs from the water. It kills the harmful bacteria from the water and makes the water safe for drinking. Coming to the next method. The next method of purifying water is by filtration. So filtering water. So it is the process of transferring the undissolved particles from water. That is called filtration. And we can do this filtration by using a thin cloth or a filter paper and we can remove the undissolved particles from the water. So now if you closely observe this picture, you can see the water that contains the undissolved particles and this water is being purified using a filter paper. And as it is purified, we will get fresh water. We can filter it using a filter paper. So this is another method of purifying water that is by filtration. Coming to the next method that is sedimentation and decantation. So sedimentation means settling down insoluble particles in the water that is sedimentation. So let me give you an example. So if you want to remove the mud from the muddy water, first what you need to do first is you need to settle down the mud at the bottom. So that is called sedimentation. That is called the sediments. And the water is then slowly poured to the other container. And that is called decantation. So let's see this picture. If you closely observe this picture, you can see the water containing insoluble impurities and we need to purify it. So we are purifying it by using the process of sedimentation and decantation. Here you can see the insoluble particles got settled down at the bottom of the container which we call it as the sediments. And this water is being poured to the another container and that process we call it as decantation. In page number 108, you can see a box there. Impure water contains germs that can cause diseases. So impure means which is not pure. So impure water can cause germs and it causes many diseases like cholera, typhoid, jaundice, etc. So if you are traveling, you need to take the following measures in order to prevent falling sick. So let's see what are the measures. So see the first one, carry your own water. So this is very, very important. You should have water with you. The second thing, avoid food and water from outside vendors. So this is also very important. Avoid having food and water from outside vendors. The third thing, if you are buying water, 
check for the seal and date of packing. So these are some of the important measures you need to think when you are traveling. So we are done with this chapter and I hope you all have understood. So let's meet in the next class. Until then, thank you.